hello everyone okay so in this video we are going to do chapter number one question exercise 1.2 question number five six seven and eight so let's start with question number five find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number we have to find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number that can be written that can be formed using these digits the digits are six two seven four and three right so for this question first of all we have to find the greatest and the least number least five digit number using these digits right so but after using these digits greatest number we got is seven six four three two that is seventy six thousand four hundred thirty two and the least number we have got is two three four six seven for the greatest number always start from the great largest number then write it in descending order for the least number always start from the smallest number and write it in ascending order right so this is the greatest number this is the least number so we just have to find the difference between the two these two therefore the difference is difference means we have to subtract this two right so after subtracting we have got 52965 okay so move on to question number six so question number six machine on an average there's a machine that on average manufactures it produce 2825 screws a day in a day in one day it produced this much of screws we have to find how many screws did it produce in the month of january we have to find the number of screws it produced in month of january right so for that number of screws manufactured in one day in a day that is 2825 right the number of days that we have to find the number of screw produced in month of january so in january how many days are there number of days in january that is 31 right so if we have to find the number of screw produced in month of january what we have to do we have to multiply this by this right so it is the number of screw produced in one day that is 2825 we have to find the number of screw produced in 31 days so we have to multiply it by 31 right number of screws manufactured in january 2006 equals to this multiply by 31 so after multiplying we got the answer is 87,575 so this much of screws were produced in January 2006 this is your question number six let's move on to question number seven that is a merchant there's a merchant right she had rupees this much with her right total amount she had is 78,592 she placed an order she placed an order for purchasing 40 radios she placed an order for purchasing 40 radios set at rupees 1200 each which means one radio set equals to 1200 rupees and she placed an order for 40 radios right so after placing this order right so we have to find how much money will remain with her how much money is left with her after purchasing 40 radios okay so first of all is total money margin had how many margin he had, she um, how many money the margin had rupees 78,592 so number of radios said she purchased she placed an order for how many radios 40 set of radios right and we have known that cost of one radio one radio ka cost kitna hai? 1200 so first of all we have to find the cost of 40 radios right because she placed an order for 40 radios so we have to find the total cost of 40 radios 
सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी रेडियो इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी इन टू एक रेडियो का कॉस्ट कितना है वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सो दैट इज रुपीज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी रेडियो इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड राइट सो वेन शी प्लेस द ऑर्डर फॉर फोर्टी रेडियोज शी हैड स्पेंड दिस मच इन टोटल शी हैड हाउ मेनी मनी How much money? Seventy-eight thousand. This much. So the question is, how much money is left with her? What is the remaining money? So what we have to do? We have to subtract this two. We have to subtract the total amount. Total amount she had at the beginning minus total amount she spent on radio. Okay, forty radio set. That is forty-eight thousand. Right. So after subtracting, we have got um, this. We have to subtract this too. So the money left is thirty thousand five hundred and ninety-two rupees. This is your final answer. Next is question number eight. So the student multiplied seven thousand two hundred thirty-six by sixty-five. Right, so she multiplied. There's a student. She multiplied seven thousand two hundred thirty-six by sixty-five. Right. So first we have to multiply these two. We have to find the answer for this. Right. Seven two three six multiply by sixty-five. Six six is thirty six. Six three is eighteen. Nineteen twenty twenty one. Six two is twelve. Thirteen fourteen. Six seven is forty two. Forty three. Right. So that is zero eight nine ten fourteen three ten six seven. Okay. After multiplying this, we got the answer. Four seven zero three four zero. Okay. Then the question is: the student multiplied this by sixty five instead of fifty six. In in fact, in correct answer, she had to multiply this number by fifty six. In the original question, she had to multiply this number by six fifty six. Right, so she multiplied. She has to multiply seven two three six by fifty six. When she multiplied this, how much number she got? So seven two three six. We have to multiply by fifty six. Six six is thirty six. Six three is eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one. Six two is twelve thirteen fourteen. Six seven is forty two forty three. Five six is thirty. Five two is a fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Five two is a ten, eleven. Five seven is a thirty-five, thirty-six. So the answer she got after multiplying it with fifty-six is, if she had multiplied it with fifty-six, that is one, uh, twelve, three, four, five, ten. If she had multiplied it with fifty-six, she might have got answer. Four zero five two one six. Right, she had multiplied with sixty five, and then she got this number, this answer. If she had multiplied it with fifty six, she might have got this answer. So the question is, by how much was his answer? This was his answer greater than the correct answer. This was this should be the correct answer. So by how much? His answer was greater than correct answer, right? So for that you have to subtract this two four seven zero three four zero, subtracted by four zero five two one six, right? You have to subtract this two. That is four. This became three, two, three minus two one, zero minus five we can't. So we have to borrow. This became ten, ten minus five five. This became six. Six minus zero, six. Four minus four, zero. Right. So the answer is therefore. Right. 
by 6500 sorry 65124 right by this much his answer is greater than the correct answer answer right this is how you have to write by this much his answer is greater than the correct answer so this was your question number eight for rest of the question you have to watch next video thank you